Welcome back to the penultimate game of the round. Tonight we have South Perth Alliance versus Coburn Wolves. Lining up for South Perth Alliance, we have Natawang Rangsawang, number one, Felipe Rojnika, number 12, Justin Pierce, number 10, Omar Chiwani, number 11, Bo Haynes, number eight, Takisha Kawimi, number five, Lachlan De Silva, number 19, Toki Hoyogaya, number seven, Kichi Kato, number 15, Luca Gabella, number 18. And for Coburn Wolves, we have Michael Dudak, number one, Jan Cock, number 27, Patrick Torres, number 15, Stefan Kuzet, number four, Connor O'Driscoll, number 14, Mark Gavranich, number nine, Declan Birdle, number two, Damon Te Tezovich, number 33, Kendall Mothius, number 19, Matthew Sesse, number 20. And we've just had a thrilling contest the match before, and let's see if any can to live up to that. Starting off with Kichi Kato to Rojnika. Back to Rojnika. To Hozogaya. Flicks it down to Rojnika. Back post pass. Great ball there to Kichi Kato. Unfortunate just not to get on to the end of that. And it goes out for a goal kick. Back to Rojnika, to Pierce, to Rojnika. Played to the captain, Pierce. Finds Kato. Gavrinic covers. Just flicks it out of bounds. Kato, to Pierce. Hozo Gaia, Rajnika gets the follow up. Gavrinic strong on the ball. Wins himself a side ball. Torres resets to Kuzet. Torres to Birdle. Back to Torres, to Gavrinic. Good pressure here by South Perth Alliance. However, Coburn Wolves keep possession. To Kuzet. Torres on the ball. Kaito putting good pressure. Battle with time on the ball. Gavrinic to Torres. Plays inside to Gavrinic. Rajnika giving him some space. Out for a Coburn Wolves ball to Kuzet. Has room on the flank and a good save by Runsawang. Torres. Dudex has stepped up and we know he loves to, from sidekick, step up into the half and he has a lethal right boot on him. South Perth bring it out. To Pierce. Hosogaya to Rojnika. Tries to find Kaito, but just runs out of room. Kaito to Rojnika. Out to Hosogaya. To Pierce. Kuzet did well to use his body and see the ball out of play. Pierce to Rojnika, brings it inside, and that's a beautiful, beautiful finish by Felipe Rojnika. Got past Mark Gavrinic, drove inside and slotted it to the bottom left, right past Michael Dudek. That's a massive goal for South Perth Alliance. So South Perth Alliance, first goal scorers, there, it's Rojnika who is the current golden boot for his side, um, having scored the most goals there. Uh, 13 goals this season. Uh, the, and also on the court, but for the opposition, is Coburn Wolves' Mark Gavrinik, who is currently the top goal scorer for the Men's Superliga. With a few rounds left, hot on his tail is 
Luke Ross on 21 goals compared to Mark Gavranek's 23. And next is Footscarb's Mateus Cavallo on 20 and Andino's Wesley Vanegas on 19. Followed by Charlie Garnham sitting on 16 for Rockingham, Cambio Cumbrae. It's Coburn Wolves now who bring the ball up to halfway. Playing high pivot in Mark Gavranek. He's received the ball now. Can't turn himself to face forward. He's marked well by Philip Rojnika and it's Justin Pierce now. Finds his target in his wide runner. Just a light touch on that one. Gavranek turns with the ball now. Coburn Wolves attack forward. Referee's seen a foul there. No advantage. Birdell, who takes the kick, goes wide for his flank. He move the ball around, finding Gavernick, who's got some space, but Rung Swung's read that one well. Ball's gone out of play. Rung Swung plays short. Rajnika for Pierce. Good movement from the flanks across court to make some space for the run there of Pierce. It's explodes down the far left side. Roshnika cuts inside. The ball's fallen nicely for Pierce to try and play back post. Here we see again another chance for South Perth and a shot blocked. Ball goes out on the far side. Here we see Kato to Hosel Gaia. As we see. Bo Haynes get his first minutes for the match. Torres in possession. Trying to find the pivot in Mark Avranich. We know how dangerous he is as being up there in the top goal scoring tally. And good shot there by Declan Birdle. Wins himself a corner. See Michael Dudak stepping up, but Stefan Kuzet takes the shot. No handball called as just dribbles out for a goal kick. Runs along with the ball. Goes long to Kaito. He had more time than he thought. Got him behind the defence. Runs along. To Justin Pierce. Plays wide to Haynes. High press here by the Coburn Wolves and Bachlin de Silva checking in for his first minutes. Almost some brilliant work of footwork. Brilliant footwork there, but just unfortunately ran out of space. Torres. Gavranich. Torres. Birdle, Gavranich, Bo Haynes holding him up. Gavranich with some fancy footwork, some step overs. He's gotten him behind. Birdle can't find him. De Silva plays to Cato. He's slipped through and a world class save by Michael Dudek. South Perth worked that play brilliantly and Lockie De Silva was through. It looked like he was going to score, but Michael Dudek. Put himself in the way. O'Driscoll. Resets to Birdle. Out to Torres. To Birdle. Torres. Faces the defender and plays a lovely through ball to O'Driscoll. Wasn't a million miles away. Almost got caught out. Rung Suwang as Matthew Cesar checks in and Gavranich now is a counter-attacking opportunity as De Silva covers well and Kato takes on Birdle, he squares it. Great interception by Cesar as he passes out to Birdle. Back to Cesar. Takes his time. 
Back to Driscoll. Sesa trying to find their target in Mark and Mark Gavrinich and almost found O'Driscoll with his chest. And Lachlan De Silva got his body in the way and here's a chance, here's a real chance and Bertle got through, slipped through to the defence and unfortunately it's a deflection off deflection off Luca Cabela just checked in not much he could do there and it's 1-1 one, one. as PS resets play. To Cabela, to Haynes. Oh, and here's O'Driscoll. He's dispossessed Haynes. He takes a shot. Maybe could have driven some more, but that's an excellent press there by O'Driscoll. Did really well to dispossess Haynes and that was a real chance for Wolves to take the lead. With Cobras winning the game before, it's imperative that it's a real six-pointer here tonight. Dispossess Haynes! Off the edge of the bar. Ever since Haynes has come on, he's looked threatening. Bit unfortunate, just caught maybe the wrong side of his boot and just hit the post and out, but that was a good press by South Perth. As I was saying before, this is a real six-pointer. South Perth to stay in the hunt for, for top four. They need a win and catch up ground on the likes of Andinos and Braza and Hawks who play later tonight, who have all lost. And for Coburn Wolves, and here's a big chance at Rung Suwang. Rung Suwang does well to make himself big. Dudek throws and finds his pivot there. He's got a lot of space to turn, resets the ball deep. I was just having a look at the this season statistics and the last time these two faced each other was in round 13. And it was South Perth Alliance who scored two goals to Coburn Wolves three. So it was Wolves who walked away with the points that time. And having a look at the statistics there as well. Michael Dudek had a very standout performance himself scoring a goal. Now we have seen him creep up the court already in this game as almost a fly keeper. Be interesting to see if they opt to continue to use that throughout the game today. Now that the result is 1-1. Is one, one. It'll be interesting to see if many tactics are changed between the two sides. One thing Coburn Wolves do have is, is good pivots. Gavrinik, O'Driscoll, um, both playing that role very well and we've seen some amazing goals from Driscoll in the past not just for this club but his previous club in the Superliga with West Coast Cobras Ronikas now finds Tucker he's a quick player on the court he's found himself some space tries to flick the ball across but well read by the defense there and Driscoll finds himself on the ball and resets again a long pass finds its target can't flick it past Kato. Across, cleared off the lines by Vrajnika. And now Spearwood Lions progress forward. Tucker threads the ball through, but it's well read. Wolves now advance. Not many options forward. Calls for reset from the bench. And they've just done that now. Ball across. Driscoll dispossessed by Ronicus. Battle on the side there. And kicked away. It's almost a clearance. For Rungsarung to collect as he plays short. Back across. South Perth Alliance now patient. It's not been almost 2 2. So rotate now with Tucker once they play their pivot. Rashika's back roll a bit short there, but they've done well enough to read it and keep possession. That one's Gabella. Let's slow down the other way now. Coburn Wolves reset with a chip pass. South Perth Alliance's defence drops off into their own half. Very disciplined with their defensive structure here. Not getting too sucked in in a line. Well read here. And Taka gets his first chance, but there's been a slide there from Wolves defence. Roshnika places a ball for the sideline kick. I'll see Goya back on the court for South Perth. 
Dudek. He looks for options long, chooses not to. As they move forward, Bertle sits in Fixo. Driscoll pressed by two. Ball has come off of South Perth, so Wolves will get the kick in. And Dudek is advancing up the court slowly. Misplaced pass. And ball forward also misplaced. We'll see Coburn Wolves back with the kickoff. Up to Birdle. To Sesa. Sorry, I mean Morpheus. Driscoll tried a little flick. Didn't find the right connection. Birdle. To Sesa. With ease. Good defensive work right there by Tucker and Hosogaya. They play long to Gabella. Got a little bit of flick on it, but never looked like tro troubling Dudek. Birdle on the ball. Sesa to Bertel, O'Driscoll doing well. South Perth with an effective press, they've won themselves a free kick. Justin Pierce to take. Look for the back post, but O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll had a good challenge. They go long. Well intercepted there by Hosogaya. O'Driscoll, little flick, but Rung Sawang was alert. O'Driscoll and Birdle over the ball. Rajnika and Pierce. Be aware. Try to play that back post ball, but now. Rishnika pressing. Good shot there by Sesa. Almost caught. Rung Sawang out, but just over the bar. Adrisco intercepts. Sesa. Morpheus. Adrisco. Looks for the 1 2, but Kaito and Rishnika eliminate the space, and here comes. Here comes Hosogaya. Good save by Dudek and Rishnika found himself in a pocket of space but just couldn't find contact and here come Wolves on the counter attack. Driving, look for the squaring ball but Pierce did excellently to come across and cut the space and he's even won himself back possession of the ball. Three minutes to go, one all. It's been a brilliant game of futsal so far. Hosogaya on the ball. Plays Pierce. Pierce look for the near post finish but Dudek had that covered. Central ball. Rajnika! Rajnika's looking dangerous on both feet. Narrowly missed. The right hand post as Dudek resets, goes long. Mark Gavranich is back on the field. Look to turn, but Pierce and Rajnika had a beautiful double team there. As Rung Suwan collects and Goes on to Hosogaya, but Cesar, good interception as Rung Sawang collects. Kato on the ball, doesn't rush, resets to Rajnika, played to Pierce. Back to Rajnika, plays Hosogaya. Wolves are just slowly stepping up. Rajnika. There's a bit of miscommunication here, and now there's a massive chance for Morpheus, and beautiful save by Rung Sawang. Miscommunication there between Rajnika and Pierce and Kato. They got caught out there, but Rung Sawang makes himself big. Kuzet, dangerous left foot, and that wasn't a million miles away. As Rajnika checks out for Bohanes. 
Rang Suwon goes long to his target, but just a bit too much on that throw. Dudek down to Gavrinich. Both teams looking to play that direct ball to the pivot. Oh, and beautifully intercepted by Bohanes, but even better by Kuzet. Now to 3v2, Kuzet. Kuzet looked to find that top right-hand corner. South Perth did get back well in numbers and forced the long-ranged effort. Pierce on the ball. To Haynes, to Pierce, good check run. Pierce moves forward. Beautiful through ball to Hosel Gaya, to Kato. Oh, they just went on the same wavelength there. It's a good combination play there. I was unfortunate that that pass didn't hit the feet of Kato, who found that space. Hosegoya with the option on the far side as well. Ball intercepted by Pierce. Another chance for Kayo and Hosegoya here. Well, it's been nice footwork from Colburn Wolves and sliding challenge has stopped the play there. And we see a transition. South Perth Alliance with a chance here. 2v1. Block. The shot blocked there by Kuzet. The sideline kick in taken by Haynes. As he plays back for Hosey Gaia. Good press from Coburn Wolves. Doubled up there to win the ball. Gavinick now. He's got three players around him. Not a lot of other options but back. Referees saying to play on. He's looking for a bit more physicality. And touch there, almost falling for Cook. Pierce trying to find some space. Big check run on the far side. There's a guy here now. Back to Haynes. Down the side for Pierce. Pierce's back pass almost too much there. We see another sliding challenge in defence there from Sese. As he's in on this tackle as well, and another. He's showing a lot of tenacity out on the court, defensively and offensively. And that there is a half time siren. 1 1, very even contest between the two sides. One goal from Philip Rojnika from South Perth Alliance with the assist from Justin Pierce. And one goal for Coburn Wolves. We'll be back shortly after a short break. Futsal WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. Second half kicks off with Coburn Wolves in possession as they reset back with their fixo, who's been very defensively minded tonight. Cesse, great tackles and challenges, and here he is now. Commentator's course as he's just cursed as he's just been megged defensively. 
Sideline kick in. Well blocked by Connor O'Driscoll. Haynes takes the kick in. Masigaya tries to find Kato, who's at back post. Sese. Across the court. Hebron Wolves finding themselves some space to be able to dribble the ball forward. And a shot taken well wide of its target. Wang Subang looking for options, looks to go long. Finds Kato, but he can't get it under control before it goes out. Birdle now. South Perth Alliance choosing to drop right off defensively. Allowing Coburn Wolves to dribble the ball all the way up into their own half. Birdle says a O'Driscoll makes a run forward, points forward. Good movement now as Birdle drops into some more space. Ball to the opposite flank now. Cesse has come forward and cleared that one. The referee has seen something in it. South Perth Alliance now. Progress forward. Pierce. He's looking for some options. South Perth Alliance staying pretty still in their positions. Not a lot of rotation when the ball gets passed in to their fixo. Some stationary players here. Looking for individual talent to take on players in wide areas by the looks of it. Clock across. Cesse finds a Driscoll. And back again. South Perth Alliance dropping off. Cesse looking for the channel, but he's been dispossessed. Pierce now explodes forward. It's been good defensive work there from Bertle as he comes across to clear the ball. The substitution made here. Number 18, Gabella. Could be that he's got the left foot for this corner set piece. That hasn't come through. Pierce now. Finds Gabella. Gabella, it's his left foot across goal. Says it to O'Driscoll. And South Perth drop off again. Coburn Wolves advance now. Says it. Fakes well. Finds space inside. O'Driscoll's pass. Misplaced. Back to De Silva. Taking his time. Tries to hit his target in K2, but just wasn't on the same wavelength. Birdle back to Sesa. <laughs> to Driscoll. Back to Sesa. Not rushing. Plays O'Driscoll. Back to Cock. Tries to flick through, but Pierce clears well. O'Driscoll. As we see Dudek slowly creeping up. Birdle. Back to O'Driscoll. Sesa. Plays try to. Sesa try to find the ball to Birdle, but just couldn't hit him in that. It's been bit unfortunate as we reset play with Rung Sawang. Goes down to Haynes, but intercepted by Birdle. He's had an excellent game so far. He has a hit. Goes out for a corner kick. It's a big opportunity here for Coburn Wolves. We can see Dudek slowly creeping up. Make the most of this opportunity. Sesa hits. Well deflected by... Well deflected there by Bo Haynes, and it looks like he's hurt himself in the process. Hopefully he's all right.
As we see, Bone Haynes um, helped off by Rung Soang and Rajnika, uh, sorry, as I should say, Pierce. Hopefully he's all right, and we'll restart with a wolf set play. We'll just clear up some of the sweat left on the court. It's been a thrilling contest so far. One goal each. It's anyone's game at the moment. And don't forget to stick around for the next game. We've got Northern Hawks versus Rockingham Cumbia Cumbre, 1v4, which should also be an amazing game. A thrilling game. Hawk, back to, to Cesar. De Silva does well, gives him no space and kicks out of play. We see Dudak again. Coming up, Bertle to Cesar. South Perth doing well, defending in numbers. Torres getting pressed by Pierce, getting pushed back. Beautiful ball across to, to Cock, to Bertle. Beautiful play there. Great defensive work from Justin Pierce. He was actually the one that started the press and he was the one that ended up in the far corner clearing the ball off. So great leader for his side and, and great work rate as well. And there was almost a deflection there as the ball rebounded towards goal. Sese does well to keep the ball here. Drives forward. Oshnika kicks it away. <laughs> Sideline kick in. South Perth Alliance marking well as Coburn Wolves Exploit those wider areas. Cesar drops hard. Gets his foot on that one. And Dudek collects for a short pass. Gavrinik now on the court again for the Wolves as he progresses up to find his space up in pivot. As mentioned, he's the current golden boot leader for the men's Super League. We'll see if he can get himself on the score sheet today. As he has a shot it's blocked there by Gabella. Cesar, he's played heavy minutes today. He's certainly holding up the back in that fixo space for Coburn Wolves. Gavrik resets the ball there to Torres. Cesar. Gavrik's touch falls for Pierce nicely. Battle's done well to dispossess. And get the ball back for Wolves as he finds himself now engaging two defenders. He sets the ball for Cesse. Now, interesting, I was mentioned that before. There's not a lot of rotation that we do see from Coburn Wolves. They generally stand in a 3-1 shape um, after a one pass, slight bit of movement. Easy for South Perth Alliance to defend. As they press now, or look to press, Gavinick. Reset forward. Had he have been able to see the space in behind, potentially could have turned himself. He's laid the ball off now. And the attacker hasn't been able to get too much on that. Torres disappointed he couldn't get more power on the ball. Bertle, let's kick that one away. Gabella went back to Rung Suwang across the other side of the court. And Pierce hasn't been able to win the ball off of Cesse. And nice attack. Close down. Good defensive work from South Perth Alliance. Gabella being called by Pierce to bring the ball up. But he sees Cesse in his path and has looked for the pass himself. Long pass through. We see Gravent Nick now. Place wide. Cesse's pass forward. Didn't get to its target. Sese engaging a defender, playing backwards, calling to his player to keep it. And here we see South Perth Alliance advance forward through Pierce with a beautiful shot. 
past Michael Dudek's open arm to get South Perth Alliance ahead in the match with another 10 and a half minutes to go. What a sensational finish. Justin Pierce right into the top of the net. Reset play here with Wolves going 2-1 down. We know South Perth are hungry for the result. Keeps them in contention for the top four finish. Bertle down to Gavrinich. Tried the back heel. Rajnika read it very well. De Silva. Wins, them. Wins the South Perth Alliance boys. A side kick as we go along. I will reset here with Rajnika. To Rungsawang, back to Rajnika. Both teams always looking to play that pivot. At the moment, it's Gavrinich and Gabella. Torres to Dudek. He's stepped up here. Will he have a shot? Playing a fly keeper. Bertel down to Kuzet. Try to hit Gavrinich in the middle, but just couldn't find him. We'll reset play here with Lachlan de Silva. Rajnika down to Gabella. Gabella's through here. Great, great opportunity there for Gabella. He was through one on one. Beautiful ball from the back from Rajnika, but he just couldn't make the most of his opportunity. And Michael Dudak made himself big. We'll see what happens from this corner. Goes all the way back to Rangsawang. To Raj, Rajnika. To Hozogaya. Torres switches to Kuzet. Switches to Torres. Does it have. Hozogaya does excellently to make himself big, and Torres couldn't get past him. Now on the counter attack, he gets back and narrowly misses just to the left. Sensational attacking play and defensive play there by Hazel Gaya. And now we see Rajnika. It's a two on one. Can they make the most of this opportunity? Plays wide on Hazel Gaya, but he just couldn't connect with Rajnika. And now come the Wolves. Felipe Rajnika again retaining possession for his team. Goes wide to Hazel Gaya. Exceptional. exceptional. Defensive work rate back there by Stefan Kuzet. Stop the square ball getting through to Gabella. As we see, Nika checking out for Pierce. Good idea there. Also Gaia into Gabella. Torres to Kuzet. Tucker trying to get into the mind of his opponent. No advantage played there from referee Jonathan Silas and Coburn Wolves are gonna have a chance here. As we hear a timeout called for Coburn Wolves and we'll, we'll be back just after this ad break.
reset here for Coburn Wolves. Listen to their timeout and they've got a set piece panned. O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll checks back in. Free kick is called back. Gavrinich being told he can't stand on the wall. He does the same thing. Gets himself a yellow card. Everyone giving scared woos there as they saw Silas pull out the red card from the wrong pocket. As he quickly shoved that one away, he's pulled out the yellow. And here is the free kick being retaken. Now there's a bit of a discussion about a changeover now for the free kick may have been from the two instances where they impeded the play have to double check on that one deflection off of O'Driscoll right so an indirect free kick as there was the warning twice the yellow card issued for impeding the space and stepping forward so the turnover then came to indirect free kick for South Perth Alliance. Ball across. Cousette now. Plays it across. Down the line. Adriscoll. He's got not many options, but back here. Gavrinik takes the shot. Deflection there off of South Perth. See Wolves with a corner. Corner in. Ball across the court. Coburn Wolves advance, resetting with Kuzet. Gavrinik. Driscoll gets the turn. And a good save there from Rung Sawang and clearance from Pierce. He's done so well today for South Perth Alliance. Bringing that intensity to his side. You see another corner now. Dudek has come forward. Looking to get his ball, herself on the ball. Ball across. Gavinek holds it up, sucks in most of the defence. The ball's gone out of play. It's Tucker now. Well read by Cousette. He drives forward. He's got an option on his left and he takes it. Ball flicked up and Rung Swung with another great save. The Driscoll. Misplaced pass. Again, Dudek advancing forward. Could be that he's looking to try and get himself on the ball that little bit more. As they are a goal down at the moment. And a shot for back post there. As Gavrinich turns there, but Rizhnika, he's had an excellent game. Him and Pierce leading the line to make sure Gavrinich couldn't get his shot off. And Driscoll over the ball. Does a dummy to Kuzan and Rung Swang with an amazing save. Kuzet wins the possession back. O'Driscoll to Kuzet. Look for the diagonal pass, but Hosogaya makes himself big. And an exceptional finish by Stefan Kuzet. Off his left foot. We know how lethal he can be. Played from the side, from the side kick in, and rifles it into the top right hand corner of the goal. And we'll be with you just after this timeout.
five minutes remaining, 2-2. Two -two. What's been a very even contest. Some good performances from quite a few players, but goalkeepers have been outstanding. There has now been a change in the goalkeeper for Coburn Wolves. Michael Dudek stepping off the court. And I will get the name very shortly of the new goalkeeper who's just entered. It's Rung Suwang now. He throws long. Rojnika gets a nice touch on it. Ball across for a shot, but it's the Coburn Wolves defence that rallies. Pierce. Hosikaya. The channel blocked by O'Driscoll. Damjan Tezevic now in goals for Coburn Wolves. Driscoll, not with a lot of space, he's given it away and there's been a sliding challenge there. Refs let it play on, but he's brought it back as there has not been an advantage there. It's good refereeing. Try and see if anything can be made, even though the foul was committed. The free kick will be taken. Oh, I can hear the benches yelling out for him to shoot. And that is Kato who is currently placing the ball for South Perth Alliance. He's got Pierce to his left, Rojnika deeper on his left as well. And Hossi Gaia in the far right. The ref is counting now. And there's the shot. And it was a good positioning from Cousette there to be able to block that one. Pierce. Hossi Gaia back again. Press being called from the bench from Coburn Wolves as they don't seem to be happy here today with a draw. Long ball hits the back of Pierce but falls nicely for South Perth Alliance to progress again with Kato Viseze on the far side and final touch seems to have been taken by South Perth. Sese looks for the run here. Kuzet, beautiful touch and a bit of a bouncy finish but the second one! He's finished beautifully, bouncing there past. Oh, Rung Suwang, who's very disappointed in that one. We see the replay now. Kuzet with two bites of the apple, second one going in there beautifully. Coburn Wolves now three goals to two. Pierce, great challenge there by Kuzet. Down to Cock. Bit of a push in the back there by Rajnika. Cock over the ball. <laughs> Wolves keeping possession. Sesa, Kuzet. Plays to O'Driscoll. Back to Kuzet. Oh, beautiful hold up play and wins himself a side kick. 31 seconds to go. South Perth Alliance need to get at least something from this game. Good shot there, blocked by Justin Pierce. Who's that over the ball? Took too long. Took too long, unfortunately. 26 seconds remaining. South Perth, they need to give it their all. They're going to have to full press in possession, get at least a couple shots off. As Rung Sawang takes a loose touch, hits his target, and Kato, beautiful turn, and he shoots, and he finishes! What a finish by Kichi Kato! Beautiful target play, beautiful pass by Rung Sawang. He took the touch, took it to his his right and slots it in to the right hand corner and what a finale we have here 3-3 three, three, tw 10 seconds to go as now Rung Suwang is going to throw it long Sesa intercepts
Pierce on the ball. It's a free kick has been called for South Perth Alliance. Two seconds remaining. This will be the last chance of the game. And South Perth Alliance will certainly be trying to get those three points today. Just three points could potentially bring them up into fifth position. Then Dino's with the loss today. But Coburn Wolves won't be happy with the draw. They're trying to catch their Rockingham Cambio Cumbre, especially if the next match doesn't go their way against Northern Hawks. And it's Cato again who's placing the ball. You can hear the coach calling out to him, making sure he's taking it. Rojnika making sure his other two players are looking to run inside. And here is the free kick now. Well blocked by the goalkeeper. And a second shot. And that is the final whistle. A share of the points today with two late goals. And you can see the disappointment across the court with both teams really hoping to get the three points today. We'll go through the goal scorers for you. South Perth Alliance, Philippe Rojnika with one goal. Justin Pierce with another. And Kichi Kato with one. Coburn Wolves, two goals for Stefan Cousette. And an own goal early on in the match. Don't go anywhere. We've got a fantastic match next, which is Northern Hawks against Cambio Cumbrae.